So today we have a 2012, uh, as you can see up there, uh, Silverado is actually 3500. Same thing uh, with the Duramax, as you can see. They brought it, the customer brought it in for, it keeps having a map sensor code, specifically a P0108 manifold absolute pressure sensor circuit high voltage. Um, as you can see, someone's already been playing around. They changed the pigtail. They put a nice Chinese master or Chinese map sensor on there, which is really nice. Um, so the first thing I did is I printed out a pinout diagram. I want to make sure all the pins are in the correct spot, or all the wiring is. So you can see one is five volt, two is ground, and three is a signal return. Um, and understand this connector is backwards, so it's facing you. So when you check it, you got to make sure of that. So I'm gonna go. We'll just check it again real quick, just to make sure. Um, so gray, gray is five volt, and orange black is the ground. So we'll go bam, bam. See, we got our five volt reference. So that's perfect. Now the other way you can go back and tell is go back and probe the other side, and this is the signal feed out. So we got 3.59 volts on the output of this engine not running this map sensor. We go over here to the scan tool, you see map sensor. We have 80.9 inches of mercury, and you can see the voltage, 3. Point, you can see it's hard to see, 3.59 volts. And that matches this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the map sensor, we're gonna take the voltage away, and you can see we have zero, zero. So we know this map sensor is a piece of crap. So I'll get a new map sensor and we'll go from there. So I have the new replacement map sensor for this truck, uh, GM, brand new one. This is where we're at so far today. I haven't plugged in, haven't done nothing. We're at, uh, it says 81.7 inches of mercury and then the voltage is 3.63 volts. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna unplug this one because the engine's not running so it should be atmosphere. Plug this one in and we'll see. Hopefully it plugs. <laughs> it's got the wrong connector. It's just a really cheap connector. Oh, it plugged in. Nope, not all the way. Good old Amazon. Yeah, it's on. It's not. It's all right. But now we're back to where we should be. Let me go ahead and install this real quick. I'm gonna put this new map sensor in. And I don't understand the reason why. You, somebody would use this cheap crap. Um, this sensor is literally it's like twenty dollars for a GM one. You know, it's not like it's four hundred dollars. Like just you know, there obviously there is always a difference in this, the quality of parts. I just don't like that connector right there. But with the new one plugged in, you can see we're back to where we should be. Twenty-seven point one. That's what we are here. Atmosphere. We got one point four five volts. So. Well, now we shouldn't have a circuit high code, but I don't like this connector. It says Delphi on the side, but... That's a little tight, but that's how it is. This is his stuff. I'm not messing with it. We're just going to go ahead and clear the codes, and it should be fine now. I don't foresee having an issue because our map sensor is working properly now. Just please remember, don't use the cheapest possible parts. We'll see you in the next one.